All right, guys, what's going on? It's not welcome back to another Sudoku in an escape room. This one is called Spooky Sudoku version 1.2, and it's the last of the three I've seen. Um, there are some other puzzles and things, but may, who knows? Maybe after this one, we'll actually get into some of the escape room stuff and we'll do some other bits and pieces. So we have some variants here, which is the XV Sudoku. So anything with an X has to add up to 10, anything with a V has to add up to 5. And then we've got the um, between line Sudoku rules. So numbers along the line must be between the two numbers in the circles at the end. All right, let's do, uh, that's a variant I have not used before, so uh, this should be interesting. But without further ado, let us jump into this um, spooky escape room. And all of our tiles are in the lid. All right, so let's see what we can do. We already know that if we need to make a five, it can only be a one or a four or a two or a three here. There's no pencil lines here, so it's um, a little bit yikes. Yikes. Um, so we know that this isn't gonna be a one because we can't use the one and the nine that can't be the nine so it's a two three um be a, a two three four one so yeah, that could be anything like this just take a look at the nice little pumpkin there for the spooky spooky scene okay so um what can we do obviously these two numbers here so we've got five Five numbers which they need to be between. So we know that's not going to be an eight because there isn't a higher number there. That can't be an eight. So an eight's got to sit here, here, or here. One of those three locations. It could sit there. One of those four locations. So we know it's not an eight, two. We know it's not a nine, one. So it's a seven or a three. Seven three, seven three, or a six four. So this is going to be a three or a four, which means this is going to be a one or a two. And this is the key, though, to get us going here. How can we um, expand that logic further? I'm going to say 6, 4. That'd be 7, 8. 6, 4. Oh, no, it can't be 7, 8. It's got to be a lower number, hasn't it? So 7, 7 or an 8. 8. Well, I've got to think about this. If, if I said that can only be a... Let's say that could be. Oh, man, my memory is terrible. Um, eight can only go there, so it can't be an eight. It could be a seven. So seven, three. Seven, three, six, four. It's three or four. That's got to be a one or a two. One or two. That has to be a two. If that can only be one or two, that has to be the two because that has to be a one be by that constraint. So let's take these two cells and we'll do the two there, one there, which gives us the seven and the three, three there, a the seven there. Excellent. Okay. So that then will give us an eight here because that has to be between the values. And then we don't know anything else at the moment. What we do know though, though this is a one four. A one four here, which is going to force, or that can't be nine. So nine has to go at the top. Nine's gonna have to be the start of this one. So we know that's a one four. And the reason I know that is because we've already got the two three in this column and the only two number combination sets that can make five. 
to one or a four. Which will make that... Well, that can't be a one. That has to be a four. Because we can't make the ten with these two cells here. So, we have our one and a four decided like that. Then we need a six here. Oh. Oh, yeah, and then... The lowest number that we possibly have now is a two. Sorry, I missed the, the yellow mark on that. I was thinking, well, that's something's not right there. Something is not right, but it was right. Excellent. Huzzah. We now have this here. So we can place uh, an eight in this column here because we have eights restricted by a Sudoku. Like so. One, two. I don't know enough about threes. Fives, but we do know that a seven. I don't like the position of these gravestones, to be honest. It uh, makes picking these tiles up a little bit um, awkward, we say. Okay. We've already got a two, three. We've got a three. We need a three in here, which means a three's got to go there or there. Or oh, no, that three, five. If we just looked at what cells are left. We would have easily been able to uh, identify that. Nine's got to go in the middle. Nine. We don't have any fives yet, do we? Fives are... Well, but yikes. There's, there's such a big range of numbers that this one could be, because we're obviously going between one and eight. So that could be any one of the remaining three numbers. Fours can't be in the middle. Six can't be at the bottom. But that's about as far as we can go. One, two, three. It's got to go there. Four can go anywhere. Five can go anywhere. And nine can't go there. Can't go there. So nine's in the middle here. So it's like we should be able to work out these two here, though. So. Yeah, let's no sequential numbers on these lines here, I don't believe. Yeah, it's just that they must be between the two numbers of the circles at the end of the line. And obviously we can prove it out here, so yeah, that was a bit of a silly statement from myself. Um, six isn't going to go at the top there. Seems like we can work out these two digits here. I'm not sure how. So we've got a one. One and two have to go at the top. One, two. No other common digit there is there between the two. We know sevens in the middle. Two. Hold on, we can work out the top row anyway, can't we? Because we know what's left in here is a three and a five, so that would leave a one, one, two, six. One, two, six. Four's at the bottom. Four and three have got to go here, so that's going to reveal a... Three, that's going to leave a five here, I believe. Let me just check that logic again. I'll leave a four and a three. Fours and threes can't go here. We know... We know this has got to be oh, three, five here. Three, five. Three and five there. No, it's not necessarily true, is it? How did I come to that conclusion? Because we've still got a cell there that we haven't solved. Let me put that back there. Three, five. And that leaves us with one, two, one, two.
One, two, four. Two, four, six. Six can't go there. Seven, nine, nine, five, six, that one. No, seven and nine's got to go in here. We don't know about the five and the six. Two, one, two at the top. Threes. Threes in the bottom. Or three. I really wish we had pencil marks on this one, like the uh, the last one we did. The, the space one was really cool for that. Three, five, two, four, six, four, two, four, and six in that top left on box nine. Okay, well, we know one can't be on this line here. So that means this has got to be a one. Okay, so my reason is that is because the numbers have got to be between. One is the lowest number. So the, a one and a nine, I've just realized, can never sit on the line. One and nine can only ever go where it's in a position, can only ever go in those top corners there. What does that do for us? Got one. So we have our eight. That was a I need to remember these numbers. Three, five, three and a five. Two has to go on the line. Two, two, six, five. Don't know about the six and the five. All we know is that's a six or a five. This can be any number. Okay, maybe we know something about the nines. Yes, we can place a nine. We can place a nine. Same logic I just used about the line. We can place, yeah, there we go. So we can place the nine by knowing that a one or a nine can't sit on the line. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, moving on. Moving. It's a two, three. Can be a two, three or a four, can't be a one. Got three pairs here that make up ten. Yeah, so let's just say six, four. One can be there. I don't know why I said one couldn't be there. One can totally be there. These cells here are the only ones that aren't within a constraint. So one of these has to be a five. And it can't be this one. Because five is the only number out of our entire set where we're not able to bring the wrong ones up. That's why a five is the only number in our set that we can't make either five or ten with two numbers because we don't have two fives to use um, at all, do we? So it's now going to bring what? I know that really helps me a lot. So one, four, two, three. Anything can be there. That was a four. Okay, it can't be a four. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, it could be a nine. I guess that could be any, actually. Mm. Let's assume that was a nine. Okay, this is nine. I would take the nine out of the double, so that would be eight and two, seven and three, six and four. That would be a one. One nine. Now, 
Can we force that anyway? Hmm. I mean, the, the, the real question is, is there another way that this could work? 7-3, that would be a 2. Yeah, I'm not I'm not happy about the way I've concluded this. To be honest. We just know that, that central digit has got to be a five. So the maximum these could be uh, sorry, the minimum these could be is one or a seven. One, seven, eight, nine. No, one of these numbers is a two, so therefore one of them does have to be a one. And I mean, we, we could, could we, we can't let go of the ones. So, yeah, okay, so that's proved it out. We know one of those has got to be a one. So uh, the logic for that is that there has to be a two sat on here somewhere. The only place a two can sit on here is here. Therefore, the lower number has to be that. So we can start to roll this out as a four there and a six there. That's fine. Now, we know that a 9 can't sit... Yeah, 9 has to sit here then. So it does have to be a 9. The reason for that is the 9 is restricted from this by Sudoku. And we can't use the 1 because we've already used the 1. Okay. 8 and 2. So we're going to have to place a 2 here and an 8 here because the 8 is restricted here by Sudoku. So that should give us our next cell, which indeed it does. And oh my goodness. Um... Got diagonals. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay. I wasn't expecting diagonals. Alright, so let's see which shells we can actually target here. We know... What do we know? We don't know anything. One, nine, two. So these diagonals have three numbers between them. Oh, sorry, they're, they're three numbers know for a fact that five has got to be down here somewhere. It's going to be a five. Um, goes in here. Three, seven. Three, seven. So one, two, four, four, five, six. A four, five, six here. I'm going to put these here. Remember, guys, four, five, six, they're not in order here. Are not in order. Okay, so that actually restricts quite a bit. Next up, we got these pairs here. Now we got we'll have a one nine, one nine seven three eight two. Nine, three, two. So if that's a four, that would have to be three and two. Two, three. That would have to be one. Uh, what have we got here? Eights, nines. Eight and nine have got to go down here somewhere. The one has to be outside of here. The one has to be central column. Therefore, it's got to be in one of these spaces. So that makes that a nine or that a nine. Ones. Four. One eight nine would leave us with let's take these numbers away just so I know what I've got. One eight nine. Just the two seven three. Two two and one. Yeah, two and one's gotta be there. All right, so that's eight that's nine nine. One's gotta be there.
Seven and six. I want to make that put seven there, seven, four, seven, three. One, eight, nine. Eight, nine leaves. Seven, two, three. We had an eight there and a nine there. The eight was here, that would make out a two. Two and nine. Is there anything it can't be? It's where the four is. Wherever the four is. Um, so one of these is two or three. No. I mean, based on the assumption that eight and nine have to be in the corners, that middle number would have to be seven. We put an eight here and a nine here. The only number that is lower than both of them and still greater than those, those two numbers is a seven. Seven and three. Yeah, okay. I think that's logical. I think that's, I don't think I don't feel like I brute forced that. I made that was an eight. Let's think about this. If that was an eight here or a nine here, the maximum number we'd be able to do here is eight seven means we couldn't place the seven there because we've already used the seven therefore we couldn't put a number between the six and the seven all right i'm just going to place the five six four off the grid because i don't want to get confused that i've solved them those cells when i haven't we know a one is there and we know that eight's not an eight and a nine is there that unfortunately is all we know at the moment so we have some more lines here. Nine has to sit here. Uh, where are, are they? Got the space one. Nine has to sit here because again, it can't. One and nine can't sit on the line. And we've already got a nine there and a nine there stopping us. So that's a nine, which will make this one a one. Doesn't really help us out for what could be between these lines, though, unfortunately. So we've got a one. So we've got two ones here. One can go either there or there. It can't go there. So we can place this one. I think that unwinds the one on the next box as well. The one can't go here because we can't use the constraint to get to 10 with the nine because it's in use there. That's then going to say, well, okay take these two because this has to be a nine uh, no uh no wrong one wrong one this has to be the one this has to be the nine so then we've got an eight and a two here which we can place the eight here and the two here okay yeah, just to double check that logic, can't place the one in the here or here because of this nine here breaking that restriction there. The only place we can place the one in this box is here. But yeah, have to place it there, so we can't place it there because it's on the line, so we have to place the one, then place the nine, eight and two. Okay, I'm happy with that so far. Does that do anything here? It tells us that there is a two here. Two, threes. Can't turn about threes. One. Do we know anything about threes? Just that it can't only go there or there. Fours. Not enough information about the fours yet. Fives. Go here or here. Six. Gotta go there or there. So that's a six. 
That's six three. Uh, no. Fours. Oh, fours there are there. Sorry, I got confused. I was like, didn't I just say I could sixes were restricted? Seven can only go here in this box. And we have the eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six in this box. So we want to place a six here. Five here. Does that unwind any of the sixes here? It does. That unwinds the last two digits for this with a four here and a six there. Okay, we've got a green box. One thing I didn't notice the other day on the, on the space puzzle was you get a green light when the box is correct. That would have maybe saved me restarting the puzzle. I noticed that, but uh, hey, we learn from our mistakes. Three five is in the top, so that is going to leave a four. It's top position here. One, two, three. Okay, we can finish this box off. Three is restricted to middle. Five is to there. Okay, it's another light. I've completed. Okay, which shells are we looking at here then? What can we do? Can't be a two and eight here. Can't be a six and four. So the only pair that's left is three, seven. We don't have, currently have any restrictions here, but we know that's three, seven in some form. Three, seven. Makes a four at the bottom here. Or I can deduce from the top here. Nine and one. This can't be a seven three pair. Six. Six and four, eight and two. Thinking. Eight and two is restricted from here. Six and four. That was six, seven, eight. Well, we can't put an eight there. Two. Put an eight there. Eight, seven, six. Two. Six and four. It's the six and four. That has to be a four. That has to be a six. That prevents us from six and four. Okay, so it's eight and two. Is an eight and two, and we can all we can deduce that the two is going to be partnered with the, the two will be partnered with the nine and the eight with the one. Okay. One, two. What numbers we've got left. Four, five. We've only got two numbers here that can make. 10. No, we've got two numbers. Can't be seven. But all we know is that that can't be seven. This is like, the, the numbers are so far, they're so open. Can't be six, can't be an eight, can't be a nine. This is seven, three. Did we already notice that? Probably. That's seven, three. What does that tell us? One of the digits on the line is a three or a seven. Nothing is shouting out here. Hmm. <laughs> Place a two here now. Two, 
two. Uh, six can't go there, so six is here. Does that help us in any way? Uh, three, seven, one, two, three, fours. Maybe this is unwinding a bit more. Four, three, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Okay, three, seven there. Three and five is going in here. I don't know which way around it is. Okay, does that help? Well, yeah, it does. It says that this can't be a four. This can't be a six. Could be the other way around. We still don't know where those other digits are. We do know that four is restricted to here or here. That could be a six. Six or three. Four or seven. Three, four, seven. Three, four, five, two, three, five, six. Six can't go here. Only three and five left there, so yeah, that doesn't help us. Three, five, six in the middle box. One, two, three, three, seven here. Three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven in these three boxes here. Ah, so if three, seven's got to go here. This can't be the three and the seven. Which gives us our six four. We know which way round those go. Is of that six there? Okay. We've got the final parts of the puzzle here. Raring to go. So, what have we got left here? I mean, it doesn't say that we beat digits there. Four. It doesn't say that you can't repeat digits on the line, though, does it? It says that along the lines must be between the two numbers, which they are, one and, one and eight. So, yeah, okay, I don't think that's broken. Three, seven, five. Three and five, so that's got to be a three. Three there. Seven here. Reason for that is that can't be a seven. This can't be a seven, and a five can't make the ten constraint. One, two, three, four, five, and seven here again. Well, we have a five there. Let's finish this box off here. Five, seven, sounds like it locked in, which means we have a seven, three pair here, right? There's another green tick. Does this help any of the constraints here? We've got a four, so that can't be a four, and it can't be a six. This is a five. That's four six at the top. This three seven we still can't do anything about. One four. This has got to be a one four pair, which we can place by box nine's logic. One four. Now, no, this is a six, this is a four, and this should finish box one. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. 
voice is starting to go. Apologize for any croakiness that's uh, coming your way. Six, nine, one, two, three, four, five. It's five. If there's anything uh, interactable, I've not really looked around too much in these uh, cells. Two, three, eight. They're all in separate cells at the minute, so it doesn't help us to solve anything. We could probably unwind this box here right now. With a uh, three, five there. Okay, two boxes, three boxes to go. So we still can't solve that. Ones. Let's take as many of these as we can. We're taking them backwards, really, because uh, that's a bit confusing. Anyway, ones has to go here. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. Five, nine, one, let's think, four, three, two, oh, four, three, so that can't, that's got to go up, six, seven, eight, this has to be an eight, one, two, two's in the central, Two, six, seven. We just said on this uh, here. Well, we know that six can't go there, so that's a six. That becomes a seven. We have a four. There, we have a three. Threes go here, twos go here. Should now finally allow us to finish this box off here. Which is going to be seven, three, like so. And three final digits to the three and the eight will allow us to finish up the puzzle with a two, eight, three. There we go. Cool. Um, I think this, if I'm honest, this is probably. This one wasn't as hard as the space one. I think the space one could have been the most complicated one um, in as the actual puzzle itself. Visually, I think the first one we did, the, the, the first escape room we did, where we could only see certain elements in certain rooms, we had to like go from room to room. That definitely made it harder because you couldn't get a, a full overview of the grid at all times. But no, this one was cool. I like. I kind of like this logic um, and these constraints you have here with the, the, the circles and the lines. And like I said, it's the first time I've ever used that constraint. And um, yeah, it's um, definitely interesting when you um, you think you're stuck, you don't know what to do, and you kind of analyze your constraints and you can see. And it's always rewarding to get to the end. Guys, thank you very much for watching, though. Oh, crystal ball. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate uh, you um, watching. We'll be back with some more, maybe some escape room, maybe even some more puzzles. Um, if you'd like to just see me like do normal Sudoku on the channel, please do let me know because I do enjoy playing Sudoku. If you've got any, um, I said Sudoku, Sudoku, it's Sudoku, Sudoku, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have any puzzles that you would like maybe to see me play, um, please do send them in and I'll see what I can do. And um, yeah, quite enjoying this sort of format at the minute. So I'd like to keep it going if I could. But until next time, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Until next time, happy gaming.